Good morning, everybody, and thank you, Sean, for the introduction, but more so for your work uh, across Louisiana, uh, and not just uh, on rail, but everything that you and the folks at the Department of Transportation Development do. Um, in just a few minutes, Sean and I, along with Am officials from Amtrak, Kansas City Southern Rail, Canadian Pacific, will be traveling on a passenger train from Baton Rouge to New Orleans uh, to inspect the railroad line that would be used for the inner city rail uh, between those two cities. Uh, and I do want to take just a moment and thank the KCS President and CEO, Pat Altenmeyer, uh, CP President Keith Creel, Amtrak President Stephen Gardner, and Administrator Amit Bose. It was only a few weeks ago uh, that Secretary Wilson and I made this request that that we have an inspection train, that we do it as soon as possible, and that all of these principals come to Baton Rouge uh, in order to, to uh, have this inspection train run between these two cities so that we could further discuss uh, this concept. And the fact that it was put together so quickly uh, and that all the principals are here, I think speaks volumes to their commitment uh, to passenger rail and to this particular link in particular. So I am extremely encouraged. You all know that for years, uh, this passenger rail link has been something that people across Louisiana have been talking about. The desire has always been there. We just didn't have the means. Well, the Infrastructure Investment Jobs Act uh, does provide those means now. Uh, and I want to thank the Biden administration for making it possible. I want to thank Congress, in particular with respect to our delegation. It was Senator Cassidy and, and Congressman Carter uh, who voted for that bill, and, which is now a reality. And, and hopefully this rail link between Baton Rouge and New Orleans will become a reality as a result of it. The impending merger between Kansas City Southern Railroad and Canadian Pacific Railroad provides new opportunities and renewed support to introduce this passenger rail service between Louisiana's two biggest cities. The Canadian Pacific Railroad has expressed their support for the new service and pledged their cooperation with the effort. This is in addition to industrial opportunities that they have identified in their pursuit of KCS. Uh, and while we're standing here next to the Capitol and discussing inspection train between Baton Rouge and New Orleans, I want you to understand that our administration is looking at passenger rail across the state of Louisiana. Uh, the CPKCS merger, if approved uh, later this year, hopefully by the Surface Transportation Board, uh, will bring renewed attention and additional opportunities for passenger rail service across North Louisiana as well with an Amtrak long distance train that would connect Dallas to Atlanta and then on to Washington DC and New York. Obviously this would uh, cross Louisiana uh, along the I-20 corridor and would be extremely important uh, for our state as well. And that's very important to us. Today marks, I think, a significant milestone in our efforts to establish a comprehensive passenger service to take advantage of our robust rail infrastructure. Uh, and, and obviously we wanna get this up and running just as soon as we possibly can, but especially to ease congestion along I-10 in advance of when we're gonna have construction going on here between uh, the bridge and the split, incredibly important. Uh, so again, I wanna thank all of the stakeholders uh, for being here, for being aligned. Uh, and I wanna thank again, uh, the Biden administration as well, because passenger rail is something that's been very important to the president for a long time. A rail line connecting our capital to the largest metropolitan area will do wonders for our state. Uh, and it will allow Baton Rouge and New Orleans to compete together against other regions of the country and not be in competition with one another. And it will be so much better for our state if one can live in Baton Rouge and work in New Orleans or live in New Orleans and entertain in Baton Rouge or attend the Saints games or the, the LSU games or go to the airport without having to drive a car and depart to get all of these uh, cars off of the interstate uh, to help us meet our climate action plan goals. So for a multitude of reasons, this passenger rail link is extremely important to us. And we're gonna do everything we can to make sure that it happens and that it happens as soon as possible uh, so that we can all benefit from it. Uh, and, and by the way, we're also gonna be looking at reconnecting uh, New Orleans and Mobile uh, with the old, uh, working through the Southern Rail Commission to restore that passenger train that was lost after Hurricane Katrina 
uh, in 2005. I think that that would be great for our economy as well. So Secretary Wilson and I are excited about uh, this opportunity. We're excited about getting on this train, uh, doing this inspection, and then making this passenger rail service happen just as soon as possible. Uh, and with that, I think I've been instructed to say all aboard. Is that right, Sean? I think so. All right. So it is all aboard. And here we go. Thank you all.